What's the difference between smart drugs and nootropics? Is NCT48 a smart drug or a nootropic? How about modafinil and Adderall? Why it is so important to know the difference? I discuss this and much more with Lucas, the founder of Ergogenic Health. Let's first of all define like what is a nootropic? Well, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm really passionate about this topic. And when I hear people saying tropics are, you know, smart drugs, I get, you know, slightly angry, I would say, because I, I personally, I, I don't think tropics and smart drugs are the same thing. Because, you know, I, I see, you know, smart drugs as, you know, modafinil and Adderall and Ritalin, and other drugs that are by definition drugs. And, you know, you need a pre prescription for that, at least in most countries, um, can cause severe side effects. Whereas nootropics, the way I see them are more like, not necessarily natural, natural it, it can be synthetic compounds that provide uh, various cognitive enhancing benefits without any side effects if you you know obviously follow the the the, the recommendations and you know then the stupid things um so that's how i you know define tropics and that's the difference between smart drugs and since most people are still saying you know the tropics are smart drugs and, and vice versa um of course many people say you know what i'm not going to take those drugs you know that's that's uh, you know th those are illegal or you know dangerous or whatever but you know, I think by 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 the definition that was uh, defined when the first um, you know nootropic uh, was was made, um, I think the the nootropics have to be side effects free. I mean, nothing is side effects free. If you overdose, <laughs> that's something else. Then, but but at least by definition, there should be side effects free. So that that, that that's the, that's the main difference, and that's what I'm always trying to to point out that you know they're not the same thing in my opinion. Yeah, yeah I totally agree, and I also like to. Um illustrate that it's like the risk to reward ratio when you're comparing like let's say the whole purpose of a nootropic is that you're taking it and it, over time it's building up your baseline cognition right like you're not using something like you know uh, modafinil ritalin adderall things that actually deplete your neurotransmitters and leave you feeling in a in it or, or operating in a deficit like that just completely de defeats the purpose so that's where i was like I agree. I mean, they, they can be um, highly advantageous, particularly for those looking to like, they're looking for a longer term solution to optimize uh, their brain performance. Absolutely. The, the, the issue is that many people think like, you know, nootropics are kind of a, a short term uh, solution, like a, like a shortcut, basically something that you take today and, you know, in, in 15 minutes, you shine and, 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 you know, have this amazing brain power and memory and focus and whatnot. And some nootropics do provide some short-term effects there there's no doubt about it but it, like like you mentioned in general um they they are made to, to be taken for for a longer period and, and that's the whole idea um you see for example with with bacopa monieri right that's one of the nootropics um i think the study showed that you know it becomes effective for memory enhancement after i think six to eight weeks of, of supplementation so for the first six weeks you basically have no benefits in terms of memory but then studies show something is going on, something happens. So they're, yeah, like you said, they're, they're more like a long-term solution and, and um, still more, more supplements than, than drugs, I would say. Yeah. And I definitely look at them as like um, very complementary to the whole biohacking philosophy, right? Like, I mean, both you and I understand that nutrition, you know, exercise, light exposure, all of these are critical and you need to get these right first. And then, you know, you're adding in nootropics on the top is sort of like the icing on the cake. Um, giving you that maybe like 10 to 15% boost um, in cognition. So let's sort of, um, let's sort of dive into like the whole world of like formulating stacks and things like that. So maybe, maybe let's start out with like some of the biggest mistakes you see people making when they get into, when they want to get into the whole world of uh, nootropics. If you guys want to see the whole interview, then click below on the link and check it out. Thank you. And I hope to see you soon again. Stay well.